Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man and welcome to... To the Moon. So, this is probably the most requested RPG Maker game that I have ever gotten from you guys. Like, more than Mogeko's Castle, more than all those other fucking RPG Maker games I've played. You guys really want me to play this game? And not because it's horror based, it's because it fucking feels true. And I'm always down for a feels trip, guys. So, uh, I purposely, I know a lot of YouTubers have played this game before, but I've purposely avoided their playthroughs because I really wanted to experience this game for myself, because I heard from a lot of people that that's the best. But, you know, you guys want to see me play this, so, uh, we can experience it together. Like family. Yeah. You ready for a feels trip? Let's fucking do it. I love this music. Ah, uh, it's already pretty. Kangao and Laura Shihara. Sounds like a Japanese person there. I think this is made by a very small team too. Oh, and I like how it just goes straight into the game. Nice transition. Nice pixel art. Pianu! It's my favorite instrument. Damn, Kangao did everything in this game. Damn, she's good at the piano. Well. <laughs> Early death in the game already. No, oh, never mind. Oh god, that's a bad car crash. Smack bang into a tree, bruh. Oh no, they're alright. Dr. Rosaline. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. <laughs> this motherfucker. You ran over it anyway. No! Squirrel! What? Oh. It's like, shit. You ran over it and hit the tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. The fucking hell. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving your puppy. Yeah, because puppies are more important than squirrels, guys. Come on. He likes puppies, right? <laughs> He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? I know, right? God. Fine. Whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. No, 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 no. You fucked up the car, bruh. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left click to interact with objects, huh? It's alright, I got a controller. Uh. Receive the equipment. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Right click the to toggle menu. Oh, there's the menus. Okay, cool. Wait, what's the description? Dr. Neil Watts, Technician Specialist, Sigmund Corp. And Dr. Eva Rosaline, Senior Mem Memory tra tra uh, Traversal Agent. Jeez, very... Hey, uh... Hey, I'm holding the equipment, I just realized. And also, do you, do you think these arrows are, uh, are saying something? Maybe I should go up. The signs of the house points to the other way. Oh, how kind of it to exist. Well, thanks for fucking giving me that option then. Wiles household ahead. Putting up a sign where they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. Well, that's true. Alright, let's go that way then. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you remember. <laughs> nice. How thoughtful of you. It's kind of interesting how this is playing out already. And I love this scenery, it's very nice. Uh, ooh, birdie. Birdie, come back. Birdie, come back. Uh, what do I do with this stone? Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's the security system. <laughs> Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. <laughs> if I was writing this game, that sentence would be like, Shit, we don't have time for this bow shit. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with... Wait. Or, we could just call it a night and blame it on that. <laughs> push it on my hand, find the branch, abort mission, go. Uh, push my hand. Do it. Alright, on three. One, two, three! What? I... I don't even. <laughs> I can't even. What was that? 
Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. We'll, we'll figure that thing out later. Right. <laughs> that was weird. Alright, let's go this way. I love the scenery. It's very nice. A lot of attention to detail on the scenery. I said scenery twice in that same sentence. What the fuck ever, let's go in the house. Knock, 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 motherfucker. Ma! They're here! Ma! <laughs> Creeping in the window. I see you. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Shut the fuck up. Nice shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. <laughs> it's like, it's like, <laughs> you didn't answer my question, bitch. It's probably gonna be another all nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt that I have any coffee. Shut up. <laughs> I want coffee. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids were... Don't forget the equipment, moron. Man, this is like a... These two are like a Jesse and James kind of relationship. I don't get paid enough for this shit. <laughs> I'm loving the dialogue. It's very, it's very quirky. Oh, Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Sounds like the start of a fucking horror game. Lily. Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosaline, I presume? Thank you for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just this caretaker. Look at the little shits. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. If it's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny... Oh, I suppose this Johnny's our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. <laughs> his mental state is like 10. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab the case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. <laughs> Pick that shit up. Save the equipment. Alright. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. On it. Go upstairs. Ah, actually, let's check the area. Let's check it out. Fur plus. Can I run? I can't run, but I will save. Boom. Can't run. Can I go in here? Patient is waiting upstairs, better not waste time. Alright, alright, fuck it then. Let's just go upstairs. Yos. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Get the fuck out of the way. No fair, you pushed me. I did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. Ah, oh, I'm liking this game already. You know what I like most about this game that not a lot of RPG maker games can actually get correct? Is the scaling of everything. Like, those characters are in proper, realistic scaling to the actual environment. There are so many RPG making games where it's like, that object is too big or those people are too big. But this game pretty much nails it. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteorite. Me me meteoroid. Meteoroid? Did I, did I say Metroid? Or meteorite? Yeah, yeah, come on. Alright. On it. Hello. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Okay, that's 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 not good. 
Ready to set up? I'll look around first. Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. Yeah, suck it, bitch. There's an arrow this way, so I'm gonna go this way. Oh, there's a toilet. Oh, there's an item down here. What's that? Oh, never mind. So I guess the sparkly things are the things I can interact with. Hmm. Nothing here? Nothing in particular? Okay. Out we go. I like the transitions between rooms, actually. It's very nice. Although, right now, I do wish I could run. But, I guess we're inside a house. A casual painting of three people. A painting of an animal of some sort. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Okay. Should we... We should, we should talk to this mofo, if we can. Can we... No? Okay. Hey, there's a book up there. A selection of readings from medical journals. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Set the machine down. Yes, I'll oh, just be a moment. Written by Kangao. Kangao, you the bomb man, you did everything in this game. This is pretty much your game. Are you sure a common household power outlaw is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Standard procedures. Just keeping you on your toes. <laughs> yeah, right. What the fuck are they doing, though? Whoa! What's this? They're gonna shoot him with a laser? Looks like one of the turrets from Halo. <laughs> How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's just... He's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. <laughs> I love the characters already. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geese... The geese is just... <laughs> the geese is just keep on getting crazy, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an old odd man. Through the two years I've, he, that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. Oh, I can hardly speak right now as well. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his pap paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush, do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Uh, when you go, who goes search your house? Player controlled. Dr. What's a Dr. Rosaline? Uh, I actually like Dr. Rosaline better, so let's go with Dr. Rosaline. Thanks for the offer, but I'm leaving a butt print on this chair. <laughs> right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They probably have the piano downstairs. On it. Let's go back downstairs. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. God, you could have told me that before I went all that way. Here, take this. Receive remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh. This is interesting. I can see why people like this game. Alright, let's go search around the house. Yo, little kids. Help me with look for some shit. What you want? Uh, show around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you to, to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing. That's all. You little shit. What do you think, Tommy? 
Yeah! Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars! All the candy cane mum hides from us. Yeah, all that. Huh? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save us, to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour around through the house. What do you say? Well... <laughs> no, cut the crap and help. Ah, yeah, I'll get it for you. You little shits. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves too. Alright, I'll go get it. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go! What little bitches! God, trying to tell me what to do? Kitchen out the other door. Yeah, go inside anyway. Oh, this is like a study area. Oh, I can't read that. That's an easel though. Look at that. Oh god. Almost stepped on the paint. <laughs> I like the interactions that they have in this game. Uh, turn on the lights. Ooh! You turn the lights on, then you... So what's, what's her face? Ellie Golding? Dusklight. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Read the passage. Uh, maybe another year. <laughs> the Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume 1, The Key to Avoiding Paper Cuts. Yeah, read the passage. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplanted the great Wikipedia origami <laughs> Origami as the standard uh, repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding. For though it has many omissions and contains much that is apocryphal, or at least wildly inaccurate, it scores over the older, more pedestrian works in two important respects. First, it is made of paper, and secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts resulting from the reading of this book. Read more? Yeah. For the Grand Origami Master, it is absolutely essential for each origami to be completely completed in exactly 42 moves. In most origami tournaments, scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know about the 42, uh, the, the whole rule about you need to do it in 42, uh, cuts. Wait, is that something there? No, never mind. Alright, let's cut to the chase and go into the kitchen, which is over here. And get this stupid ass candy cane. There it is. There's that candy cane. <laughs> hmm. Nailed it! Receive candy cane. Terrible calories. <laughs> Indeed. What's in the tree ish? Nothing? Okay. Alright, I got your stupid ass candy cane. You happy? Now give me a tour of the house, even though I've kind of already done it myself. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. <laughs> and they're like, you what? <laughs> okay, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Alright. Oh, they're following me now. Is this the study? This is the book room! The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. The thickest book on the up upper shelf. No? Oh, there we go. Receive room key. Nailed it! He chose his hiding spot well. Alright, I got the stupid ass key. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day, I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. Hee <laughs> hee. I hate that bitch. <laughs> Just a bunch of books in here. There's nothing. They have nothing I don't know about though. Uh, okay. Whatevs. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Alright, let's go to the funny room in the basement. Oh, nice. It's it's creepy. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Will do. Bam. Uh, let's check around this room, actually. Anything here? Oh, turn it off accidentally. What about in these cabinets? The cabinets full of dusty books. Fine. Locks filled with colored paper. Oh, that must be the origami thing. Chest is locked. Damn it. What's in the sacks? Nothing? Okay. 
Besides my semen, you know what I'm saying? Alrighty. Uh, what's this painting? Nothing? Okay. Well then, let's go on the funny- Oh, what's that? Chest is locked. Shit! I wanted the goods, bruh. Dusty pile of animorphs. Books sit here. What the fuck ever, let's go in. Door is locked. Open door with room key. Woo! Let's go in! It's like a cave in here. Whoa! Is that origami or looks like origami? Uh a stuffed toy platypus. Looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Poke it. <laughs> Sit it up. Broken music box. Yeah, I'll take it. Receive toy platypus. A rabbit folded by paper. Hmm. Is that it? Okay. I got a toy platypus. Did you see it? What do you two know about all these rabbits? Nothing! The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. Hmm. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Hee <laughs> hee! Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. <laughs> so you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Decision? Hmm... Shit, what should I do? Maybe I should stay away from the machine. If Johnny's the one who put the rabbits there, I'll probably run in into it inside his memories anyway. Let's go upstairs and see if Neil's done with configuring the machine. Okay. What's with the sinister music, bruh? All of a sudden. How's, uh, how's he doing? Still there? <laughs> Tommy, he doesn't like turtles. Sarah, aspiring professional ice cream taster, aiming for the top. Damn, I put that on my resume. Alrighty, let's go check out these peeps. So we're about to go into their memories, I guess? Is that how it works? Not too sure, but we'll see. Oh, why don't you be late by another half an hour? Not like we've got a giant client or anything. I didn't even say that correctly, I'm sorry. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. <laughs> what a dick. Get off your high horse. I'm late just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are. Because I'm competent. And I'm a wanker. <laughs> your helmet's on the couch. Chop chop. Alright, well, uh, I think we're actually going to end this first episode right here. So we're about to go into his dream, I guess. Yeah. I don't know how long this game is either, but uh, and I don't know if it has multiple endings or whatever, but um, I'm already starting to see why you guys really like this game. I mean, I love it already. Characters are fantastic. Dialogue, superb. Probably one of the best dialogue I've seen in an RPG making game in a long time. And I can... I don't know what's happening, but... uh. I guess we'll find out. Anyways, guys, hope you join me for this little mini adventure, and I'll see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching. As always, like your favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe for any adventure. Keep watching anime. Ciao!